Hey guys, Rage and Raptor here and I welcome you to my first impression of the Sandbox server. But first I would like to introduce to you what exactly happened because I think you most likely want to know that. So basically what Wargaming did is they combined the low, low tier HP buff with something different. And this is that every single tier gets more HP and <coughs> every single tank or rather every single gun gets more standard damage so every single gun in the game now with standard with a standard shell type like ap or apcr for the fosh b it's ap for the e50m it's apcr they all of those tanks get more damage and for the fosh the damage was raised from 400 to 540 for the for example um for the amx ac mle it got raised from 300 to 400. It is important to notice though that only standard rounds got raised. Gold shells or premium shells, they stayed at what they are on the live server right now. So for example, you can see here the AMX is the perfect example. You have 263 penetration with gold ammunition, but only 300 damage. While the AP rounds have 242 millimeters of penetration, but 400 damage. It is important to note, however, this is the first iteration and HE shells do not count. Like, they didn't rebalance all the HE shells yet. They rebalanced some, but not all. This is why, for example, we have now a Panzer IV-H with the Derp gun, which has 470 alpha on um, AP, 350 on heat and 410 on HE. As you can see, it doesn't really make a lot of sense anymore, does it? But this is basically what happened. And I had to grind through lower tiers until I got my first tier 10 tank, which is the Fosh B. And I'm going to explain later on why exactly I wanted to go. I had shitty win rate, 63 games played. Yeah, I didn't play, play that well, but I also was kind of tired and had other things in my mind. Plus, I had an awesome chat I was able to interact with. Anywho, this is what basically happened. And now you might ask yourself, but Raging, what exactly happened to high tiers? Give me a second. This is all you want to need. Oh, all you want to know. Might have to... Where is it? Uh, there is it. Wait. Okay, down there is EBR behind my face. But yeah, this is what you want to have. You have the tanks, the old shell damage, the new shell damage, the increase in percentage, the old HP, the new HP and increase in percentage. Shout out to our armored patrol, which did this, which is awesome by them. Verox did an amazing job. Um, this is just all the tier 10 tanks, which are at the moment being able to play. So yes, I do not know if Jack Panzer and Hunter will have 1,400 damage. I do not know how much is the hash damage of the FE4005, because they are not here being able to be played. Okay, good. One thing you will note is that big caliber guns get a huge increase. 41% more alpha damage. Meaning, Grill 15, E100, T110E4, T30... Rheinmetall Borsig Waffenträger with the 15cm gun all now do 1060 damage. That is a huge chunk of damage. And I saw people with the 268 version 4 roll for over 1000, which is ridiculous if you ask me. Nevertheless, all the tanks also got an increase in hit points, but the increase in hit points was more focused on tanks with low HP and less focus on tanks with a lot of HP, like Mouse, for example, only got 18% more HP, while something like the Panzer, Rheinmetall Panzerwagen got, uh, got 31% more hit points. Anyway, what I really want to point out here is that in the end, we've got an increase of around 35% in damage and we got an increase of base HP of around 25%. And you might note right now, but wait, we have 10% more damage than we got HP. Doesn't that really have problem with the balance? And you guys, if you guess that, you are absolutely right. So in the beginning, the low tiers with the additional HP, they feel great. Like, like those fights, they felt like fights. It felt like you had to work for your kills. Just for example, this boy right here has 320 hit points and deals 48 damage with 
standard rounds and 40 with premium rounds. That is like, low tier was actually a lot of fun. The B1, for example, has 800 hit points, which is a ridiculous amount. But it feels okay. Like, it it does... It feels really decent and doesn't really feel <coughs> overpowered or anything. I had a decent amount of fun playing low tier tanks. The only problem was obviously that we had shit crews and so on. But even this tank, even the German tanks felt good because they had like 700 hit points. And um, this is cool. This is really cool. I, I felt like there were longer, more intense fights in lower tiers and not just one and two shots. And that is good. That is 100% good. If you might remember, I took the quote of a guy from these forums which talked about the hit points imbalance through lower tiers to higher tiers. And he said that basically lower tiers is like a 140 with 700 alpha which shoots every two seconds. And what they did with the changes right now is exactly what is right here. I want to give you some examples to explain what I mean. I first have to close some calculators though, because there are way too many. So let's have a look at the E100. The E100 is a tank which should get buffed anyway. <laughs> Wargaming promised that us very bigly. Right now it has 3,300 hit points on the sandbox server. On the live server it has 2,700 hit points. Meaning right now, so if we now take 2,700 hit points divided by 750, because that's your average damage. You need 3.6 shots to finish off an E100. Okay, good. Now let's just take that the E100 is not going to shoot heat. The new E100 with 3,300 hit points, by the way, if it's now would be, oops, 3,3. Free, free. Hello, why is it not working? 3,3, free, free. oh, oh. 750. Right now you would need 4.4 shots to finish one off if you would spam heat. If you don't spam heat and you shoot AP or your Gorilla 15, by the way, don't forget that, you will need 3300 divided by 1060, that's your average roll, 3.1 shots. Do you see the difference? We have over half a sh well not over, excuse me, almost half a shot of difference of damage to finish off an E100. This is a huge difference in my opinion. Yes, I might have took the biggest example with the most different HP, but <coughs> that is ridiculous if you think about it. Right now on the live server, you will almost guaranteed need four shots to finish off an E100. Right now in the sandbox server, a Grilla 15 or an E100 can get lucky and finish you off in free. And that is ridiculous if you ask me. Another example would be also beyond point. Again, you rem remember the Rheinmetall Borsig Waffenträger or the Aishu. The Aishu would be the perfect example. Sadly, it's not on the server, so we can't test it. But the Rheinmetall Borsig Waffenträger has the same 150mm gun as the 100 except it has lower penetration rate. And no, guys, it does not have less damage. It has 1060 HP of damage. On the live server with 750 damage, you can roll between 573. Let's just quickly um, check that 750 times 0.25 minus 750. Well, 563. And you can roll between 563 times 0.25 plus 750 to 938. This is your range 563, 937. Now we can go here and have a look at those new 15 centimeter guns, which are right about here. Armor piercing, Puck L63, this should be the Gorilla 15. And you can see right now we shoot between 795 and 1325. Everything is game, like everything can happen. And I just want to keep in mind that on the live server, I played the fringe tank destroyers, as you could see. This guy has 1000 hit points. Um, you, we can quickly check this right here, 1,000 hit points, that's it. And a Rheinmetall Borsig Waffenträger, which pens this guy, well, doesn't really happen anything. He can't one-shot you, except he burns you and he rolls incredible high. Here, the chances are, like, there is a slim chance of maybe 10% or something, or even 5, that he one-shots you if he pens. That is absolutely ridiculous. 
I just want to keep or put back in your memory that back in the days we had 850 alpha TDs. And they were a huge, huge problem because everybody camped and nobody wanted to get shut, shut on. Um, that's why they had to nerf it down to 750 and nerf their camouflage. Right now we have an even worse problem. Rheinmetall, Borsig, Waffentrager and this tank are same tier by the way. They can one shot each other. Without a problem. Well, with luck, but they can one shot each other. Which on the live server is not possible. Why I went up the French TD line is also a pretty interesting thing because on the live server the Fosh B has 540, uh, 400 alpha. So 400 times 6, 2400 clip potential. That's pretty strong because you can clip most tier 10 heavy tanks if you get lucky. Like you can clip um, the Super Conqueror, you can clip IS-7, you can clip a lot of tanks. You know, that's heavy. Right now, however, if you shoot AP, you get this. 3240 alpha. If you are able to penetrate your shots and hit your shots. 3240 clip potential. And if you look again at this list, you can see that this is every single tank in the game, except for the mouse and the E100. Although, if you get lucky, damn it, I misclicked there. If you get lucky, you're able to clip the E100 even. Only if you get lucky, you do. That is, in my opinion, an incredibly huge problem. Like, this doesn't make any sense at all. And the live server, <coughs> chances are, if you are a Grillo 15, you can kill a T100 light tank in two shots, 50% of the time. Sheridan and Pirate Rheinmetall Panzerwagen are maybe a 30% chance that you hit to hit them. Right now, on the test server, all of those are below 50%. All of those. That is not good. We do not need world of one shots, guys. Or world of two shots. Because already right now, the game is sometimes very, 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 very stale. Very, very, very often you have to camp because you are scared of getting one tapped or two hit by some TDs or three hit by TDs. And this right here, a 30% or 35% damage increase roughly to a 25% increase in HP makes no sense because you are narrowing this gap. You are narrowing down this one shot in gap or two shot in gap. Um, basically what happens right now in this iteration, it feels like we have low tier on tier 10. That is no bueno. That is absolutely not good. What another example of lower tiers of tier seven this tank right here <coughs> on life server has 820 damage or 820 hit points. We can once again, oops, wrong link. We can once again have a quick look at this when we just go make this and this. Here we go. 820 hit points. On the sandbox server, we have 1050 hit points. So we got a decent increase to 230 hit points. But now let's imagine you're going to probably fight a lot against the IS guns, like the 390 Alpha, which are quite punchy and they hurt, you know? So let's just do another thought experiment. 820 divided by 390. Meaning, yeah, you need 2.1 shots to finish off an AMX AC46. So meaning 40%, 30% of the time you're able to two shot this guy, which is not really cool, but yeah. It's okay. We can work with that. Right now, you might have saw already the 122 millimeter guns. For example, this guy right here deals 525 damage. We can once more do our thought experiment. 1050 divided by 25. And you see, you have a 50% chance if you pen to two hit the AMX. And this is tier six. And this is where the problems start. Everything below feels somewhat good. Again, I had fun playing low tiers more or less. But the higher I got, the worse it got. Like, it's absolutely unfun to play against tanks like this, against tanks like the IS-3, etc. It's super unfun. And we should not forget, like, the IS-7 has now a 670 Alpha gun. That is really strong. Super Conqueror, 540. I think the biggest winner of this whole update or of this whole idea, let's call it like that, are tanks with good DPM or 
autoloaders. The 50B right now has a clip potential of 2160. That is absolute bonkers if you ask me. Again, he has now no problems whatsoever to one clip any of those people. He has almost no problem to clip those people. Like, he, he can't fully clip them, but he has a pretty strong um, attitude again for clipping them. The bat chat is also pretty strong if you ask me. 525 damage, so 525 times 5 gives you a clip potential of 2625. Guys, what is this? That is ridiculous. Can't. I'm stupid. Let's let's do it like this. Oh wow, this is too big. Whoops. There we go. Two thousand six hundred twenty-five clip potential of a bat shot. You can clip two six eight. Wait a second. Let's put it like right here. You can clip two six eight. Oh god damn it! I'm stupid. Two six eight. Grill fifteen. Fosh B. Um. Object one forty. E fifty. M forty a pattern. But um, another bat shot, obviously. Centurion Action X and all the lights. <laughs> Except for the heavies, it can clip everything. On the live server, we have this. Oh no, that's stupid. <laughs> Whoops. 390 times 5. No. Hey, stop. 390. Why is it not working? 390 times 5. 1650. Meaning. You cannot clip the Object 268 version 4. You can clip the Grille. You can. You have to be lucky to clip the E4. You can clip the Fosh B. You cannot clip the Batcher. Again, you can't clip a Heavy Tank. You should not be able to clip a E50M. You should not be able to clip a um, M48 Patton. You should 50% of the time be able to clip a Centurion Action X. Like, honestly, this feels so bad. It feels so absolutely bad guys when i can give you right now a little bit of feedback i'd say do not give on average 35 percent more damage that's absolute ridiculous my guess or my point would be give it 10 percent more ap or standard ammo damage and 10 percent less premium rounds and leave the hit points right now like they are right now because i do like more hit points it makes the games a little bit longer and it doesn't really punish you that much when you make a tiny mistake that's that's okay i like that because i know a lot of people which when they make a mistake they are maybe done they, they, they're dead and that's not really fun let's be honest so a little bit more HP, but a little bit more damage on AP and a little bit less on heat will make a bigger, uh, excuse me, on premium rounds will make a bigger gap. And again, I, I, I get the idea. Wargaming wants to make use that people need their brains. But 41% increase in damage is absolutely ridiculous. Like, no. Please do not do this. Please. I beg you. I know this is first iteration, hence why I am stressing it so much. Do not do this. And I know probably why they went with this route. Because if you nerf premium rounds for damage, you cannot nerf premium tanks. Because the premium tanks, in the end, you would, <coughs> well, basically fuck over the agreement you gave to the players, which you said, yes, we are not allowed to nerf premium tanks because you paid money for that. And that's probably why we have something like this. If you have to get something like this, please do not increase the damage by 40%. 20 max. We do not need World of Two Shots. We want fun and we want thrilling gameplay. We do not want to sit in the bushes and wait to not get killed in two shots by a Grilla 50. That's not fun. Thank you so much for your attention. If you share my opinion, let them know in the forums. Let spread the video. And yes, I'm going to make a more in-depth video probably tomorrow in an, or in a couple of days. But right now, this is my first impression. And low tiers, yay. Mid tiers, uh-oh. Tier 10 or high tiers, no, 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 no. This was Raging Raptor. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a dislike. What can I do better in the comment section? And I'll talk to you all later. Peace.